welcome to the container inspection tutorials. In this video we are going to learn about ISO, criteria of corner fittings and corner post. What is corner fitting? They are fixed points usually located at the top and bottom corners of a container, into which twist locks or other devices engage to enable the container to be lifted, stacked, secured. According to IICL criteria corner fitting is only repaired by replacement. In this video I am going to define the IICL technical bulletin 15 given damage conditions of corner fittings, are not acceptable, and require action. Cracked, loose, torn, broken, missing comma fittings. Any deformation of the fitting that precludes or compromises full engagement of the securing or lifting of the fitting. Any deformation that alters the aperture size or shape such that a twist lock cannot enter the corner fitting. Any deformation that reduces the amount of material in the load bearing area of the twist lock. Any damage that compromises the corner fitting strength in the load path between the twist lock bearing area, corner post, side or end rail welds. Any damage that affects the integrity of the corner fitting welds to any adjacent component. Any attempted repair performed to the corner fitting other than replacement or e welding to the adjacent components. Only repair criteria for corner fittings is replacement, welding not acceptable. Following damage examples are acceptable and do not require action. Because these damages do not have any adverse effect on corner fittings. Gouges do not affect aperture or welds. These corner fittings are acceptable no repair is required. It is recommended to study technical bulletin from the website. Now, let's talk about damage criteria of corner post. Corner post, damage in front and rear comer post subject to different repair requirements. Front comer post, inserting is allowed on the outer and inner profiles of a front corner post. Section is not allowed. Rear corner post, inserting is allowed only on the outer profile and J bar porting of the rear corner post. Sectioning is only allowed on the rear corner post outer profile and J bar portion. Neither sectioning nor inserting in allowed on inner profile of rear corner post. Now let's talk about limitations of front corner post inserts. One full profile sections through the complete cross sectional profile of a corner post are not allowed. Two there is no limit to the number of inserts allowed in front corner post. Three inserts should be fitted flush with butt welded. Four a front corner post insert must be at least 150 mm, 6 inch, in length, unless it terminates at a corner, fitting. 5 a front corner post insert that would terminate within 300 mm that's 12 inch of a corner fitting must be extended to the fitting and must be at least 300 mm in length. 6 there are no max height limitations for a front corner post insert. Full height front corner post insert is acceptable. 7 no insert to a front post shall share the same horizontal plane as another insert. 8 an insert in. A square profile front corner post may extend through only one formed edge. 9 An insert may not terminate within 10 mm of any formed edge. 10 Front comer post insert may be rectangular, oval or diamond in shape. 11 A front corner post insert that would terminate within 150 mm 6 inch of an existing insert must be extended to the existing insert to form a common web. Some limitations for rear corner post inserts are as follows. 1. An insert in the outer profile of a rear corner post, except in the J-bar porting, must be at least 150 mm in length or 75 mm 3 inch in the L-bar porting unless it terminates at a corner fitting. 2. An insert in the J-bar porting that would terminate within 300 mm 12 inch of a corner fitting must be extended to the fitting. 3. There is, no max height limits for the outer profile insert. Remember sections are not allowed except for rear corner post outer profile. Let's discuss limitation on rear corner post sections, one section must be at least 6 inch in length 150 mm, unless it terminates at corner fitting. 2. Max 3 sections are allowed on outer profile of rear corner post. 
3. Sections must be fitted flush with butt welded. 4. Sections that would term indie with 150 mm of an existing, seconds must be extended to form a common weld. Special consideration. If the material to the corner post is not no the replacement steel must be carbon or cotton steel of the same or greater thickness with a minute's yield point 34 kg 50,000 per square inch. In the end have a look at acceptable and not acceptable inserts in the diagram below. Let's take a fast review. Insert must be minutes 6 inch in length. Insert must be 12 inch in length it's attached to corner fittings. Minutes distance from another insert is 6 inch. If an insert terminates 6 inch at the corner fitting it must be extended to the fitting. Two inserts cannot share the same horizontal plane. Two inserts when joined together they make a common weld. Full profile sections are allowed. Sections allowed only on outer profile of rear corner post. Sections not allowed on front corner posts and inner profile of rear corner posts. Max 3 sections are allowed one rear corner post. In this video we have about the limitations of corner fittings and corner post according to IICL criteria. To complete study, read the book, Repair Manual for Steel Freight Container, thank you for watching. If you like my video, please like, and subscribe.